Hey, what's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. And in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the Transformers Legacy United Voyager Class Silver Bolt. Now, before we take a look at the figure himself, we're going to take a look at the packaging here. So here it is. You got a nice picture there of Silver Bolt in his beast mode. You got Transformers Legacy United, Transformers running alongside here, Generations, Takara Tomy. You got Beast Warriors Universe Silver Bolt with the Mexico logo there. Got some nice artwork there, Silver Bolt on the side, and on this side, the Legacy United artwork, 40 years. Let's see, this is a new one. We got Thundertron, Rock Guy, Megatron, Magmatron, another Rock Guy. Isn't that the same? I don't know. Windblade, uh, Tiger Hawk, and uh, yeah, cool. And then on the back here, we have Silver Bolt in his Robo Mode and his Beast Mode, 27 steps, 40 years, bottom, nothing important, top, Transformers Legacy United, and that is it for the box. So now we can bring in the figure himself here. And uh, Silver Bolt's an interesting design. <laughs> uh, watching, like, the, because I'm a huge fan of Beast Wars. Um, it's, like, in my blood. Um, watching the Beast Wars show, and I saw this guy. Like, initially, it was, like, one of my least favorite designs uh, for a Maximal. It's not one of my favorites, but it grew on me. Um, I do have a couple of complaints about this figure, but we'll get to that when we get to that. Um, so, taking a look at Silver Bull here. He does look pretty good for the most part. I do like the, like, gold paint that he has on him. It's pretty cool. Here's the back. Uh, articulation wise his head is on a ball joint but he can't really look up that much can't really look down that much he can I think do a full 360 yep he can do a full 360 uh, his arms they go out that far they go around that much before you hit the wing I mean you can move the wing obviously so he can do a full 360 but if you have the wings how they're supposed to be, then you're not getting that far. Do you have a swivel there at the uh, bicep? And then you do have a double jointed elbow, but that is for transformation. So you will uh, bring this piece out here. But if you don't move it, then the arm goes up about that much. And you do have a swivel there at the arm. Uh, you do have waist rotation, but what you got to do is you got to come back here, lift this piece up, and then you can move his waist around there. Uh, legs go up that far, go back, I mean about that far, <laughs> and they go out. Let's move the arm here real quick. Out all the way up pretty much. And then you do have 90 degrees of bend at the knee there. And the feet, they can go down for transformation. And you do have angle tilt for either side. So yeah. And also his wings if you want to move them. Uh, they are, you know, on some, some joints back there. So you can splay his wings out. And then for accessories, he comes with these two feathers, and he can hold them as swords, so he can put one in his hand, and another one right here. So there you go. You can hold them if you want, or how they're, he's going to have them on my shelf, they can be put on his wings. So on the wings, they have two different pegs. So on this one, there's two prongs, and on this one, there's one in tab. So you look for the one, this one has two slots, so this one will go right there, like so, to fill out the rest of the wing, and then this one will go over here. This one doesn't have two prongs, this one's just for the slots, so that one will go right there. And now his wings are filled out. So those are going to stay there for the rest of the video, I'm not going to take him down, because um, <laughs> I don't see the use of him holding feathers, <laughs> so yeah. Now, for some comparisons, here he is with Rise of the Beasts Optimus Primal. 
is the only Rise of the Beast figure he's going to be compared with. Here he is with uh, Lyo Convoy. Here he is with core class Tasmanian kid who wants to fall and just completely not do what I tell him to do. <sighs> Come on. Man. There you go. <laughs> Here he is with uh, Kingdom Tigatron. Here he is with Legacy Inferno. And then finally, here he is with uh, Legacy Evolution, Transmetal 2 Megatron. Why is he so huge? Oh my god. So there you go. So that's basically it for his robot mode. So now we're going to get into the transformation. So first thing we're going to do here is we're going to come to his arms. We're going to bring them up on that double elbow joint. And then uh, this is going to bring this piece out. And you just want to straighten that out like so. And then same thing with this. Just bring that up and bring it back just like that. So now his arms look like that. Then you're going to come back here. I bring the wings back just for the sake of it. And then bring this tailpiece up. And then we're going to come to his head here. Bring it forward. So you can then bring this all out and take the wolf head and bring it up. Then you can take his main head here and just flip it back so it's inside the body now. And then you're going to bring his arms up like so. And then... You're going to bring this section up here, just like that on either side. So now it looks like that. And this is where my first issue comes in. The arms joints here, you have to pull on them to untab that. I feel like over time that's going to cause this joint to stress and then break. So I don't know how I feel about that. So anyway, then you, once you untab that, you're going to bring it out just like that and then there's a little uh, slot here that that tab will go into so just line those up and tab it in there so it looks like that do the same thing on this side just pull this out like so and then tab it in so now both sides look like that and then you can bring them up and they will just tab together in the center just like so and then you want to come to his crotch panel here and just flip it up. And that's literally the entire back of the beast mode just done. And then what we're going to do is we're going to come to this entire back section here, rotate it around just like so. Then we can come to each leg, rotate it all the way around. And then we're going to bring him back. And there's these little notches right here that are going to go into some slots on the inside of the leg. So just bring those back, line them up like so, and then you're going to take the knee and bend it forward and then take the claw here and then bring it down. Do the same thing on this side. So bring this back, slot it in, bring the knee up and then bring the claw down. And then what you want to do is just bring this entire section here down and there's these two tabs that are going to two slots right there when you bring this section down there's a port right here or two uh ports that are going to these holes right there so just bring that down tab in the head and then this uh feather uh, back piece here has two slots and two tabs right there so just bring those down that'll tab in and then just position the wings however you want for now we'll put them like that on his sides so there is silver bolt in his beast mode um it's like a mix between a bird and a wolf so it's interesting to say the least <laughs> um i'm gonna move his wings up here and just bring him out so yeah interesting beast mode silver bolt yeah it's definitely what you got going on here so let's take a closer look here so you got some nice yellow eyes there 
for his wolf head. The claws here do look really cool. I will give him that. I do like that. Wings going along the back and the side here. Here's what he looks like from the bottom. And then the back. This is where my second problem comes in. His fists are literally just hanging out back here. I feel like that could have been done better, but uh, whatever. So yeah. Uh, articulation wise, the wolf head itself doesn't move, but the jaw does open. So you do get a little bit of open mouth movement there. Uh, the legs, all the same articulation, you know, but if you do want to move them up like this, you will have to unpeg them from that slot back there. Uh, you don't have a lot of movement in the central body at all. Uh, and then the legs, uh, again, if you want to move them around, you will have to untab them, but you can. And then these uh, back paws here, you can just like bring them forward if you want to, but you will move the arms. And the, one, the wings, you know, all the same articulation. So if you want to do that, you can. So now we shall get him in some comparisons. So uh, let me bring the camera down here real quick. So for a comparison, here he is with Rise of the Beasts Optimus Primal. Oh, damn wings are silver. Oh, come on, man. Here he is with Beast Wars second Lyle Convoy. Here he is with a Tasmanian Kid. Here he is with Tigertron. Here, let's do this real quick. Just give me a second. There we go. So here's a Tigatron. Here he is with Inferno. And then finally, here he is with freaking King Ghidorah, uh, Megatron. And what, oh my God, <laughs> hold on. Bring the camera back here. Bring it up. <laughs> Bro, why is he actually... <laughs> he should not be this big. <laughs> but yeah, there you go. So there you go. There's the Transformers Legacy United Voyager Class Silverbolt. And you know, it's, it's a pretty good figure. It's pretty cool. It's, it's different from, from most of the Beast Wars figures I have. Um, uh, like, they're all, a lot of them are, <clears throat> excuse me, <clears throat> a lot of them are crawling on fours, cats. So this guy's a different change of pace and he's a mix of two animals. So it is different, uh, just like how Inferno and uh, Megatron were. Um, very different in terms of what I'm used of, used to. Um, even though he is more basic, he is, still is that crawl on on fours. But transformations, uh, interesting and fun, and I do really like it. Um, Silverbolt's cool, Maximal, and I, I love this figure a lot. Um, so yeah. Well, with that being said, guys, I hope you all enjoy this video. And if you did, make sure you hit that like button down below. If you want to see more from my channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. And uh, with that being said, thank you all so much for watching. And I'll catch you in the next Ray's Gaming Core video. Peace out, everyone.